We all know we need to carry a certain amount of safety gear on our boats. The list includes items such as fire extinguishers, a bailing bucket, anchor and chain, life jackets and of course flares. We're all familiar with red and orange handheld flares, but soon there will be a new option called an EVDS or Electronic Visual Distress Signal which can replace the old pyrotechnic flares. After July the 1st, 2023, recreational boaters will be given the option of either carrying pyrotechnic flares, the handheld flares, or an electronic visual distress signal, commonly known as EVDS. There are several advantages of EVDS over conventional flares. They are waterproof, float, and have a battery which will last a minimum of six hours. That's a lot longer than the signal you get out of a flare. The other advantage of an EVDS is that it will last for six hours, as opposed to a pyrotechnic flare will only burn for one minute. The testing of the EVDS we've done, you can see them at five miles, but certainly at two nautical miles, um, you can distinguish the SOS signal quite clearly. If you choose to change to an EVDS, there's a few more requirements you must adhere to when in sheltered waters. This includes now having to carry a GPS-enabled EPIRB registered with AMSA and a VHF radio, meaning you can raise the alarm in an emergency during the day. The electronic visual distress signal can be uh, easily stored on your boat. We see at the moment pyrotechnic flares down in the bilge. These can be easily located on your boat near your EPIRB, near your radio and all your other safety gear. If you are beyond sheltered waters and elect to carry an electronic visual distress signal, you still must have the two rocket flares on board. And it's not just boaters who can carry these new devices. If you're in a sea kayak or a PWC and elect to carry an electronic visual distress signal, you can carry a PLB provided it is registered with AMSA and is GPS enabled and a VHF radio. Just because masts are looking at legislating their EVDS, it doesn't mean that you've got to replace your flares straight away. If you've still got a couple of years left on them, keep your flares and consider an EVDS later when your flares are out of date. We would urge everybody to check their flares and make their own determination of whether or not they want to carry flares or an electronic visual distress signal, whichever suits their needs the best. MAS will be approving certain types of electronic visual distress signals. It's not simply a dolphin torch. It's got to be on a product list approved by MAST. To find out more, keep an eye out on the MAST website. <laughs>